Hi, Dero Doers, and welcome to this video on deferred revenue and expenses, also known as expense and revenue recognition or accruals. When discussing deferred revenue and expenses, there are three main concepts to distinguish. Deferred refers to payments recognized before a good or service has been delivered, while accrued refers to payments recognized after a good or service has been delivered. Both of these represent one-time payments spread across a period of time that must be accounted for periodically. For example, when we buy our yearly ODU subscriptions, we pay it all at once, but we want to split that cost evenly each month throughout the year. These recognitions aim to provide a more accurate representation of a company's financial situation. The third concept is one-shot entries, and these are one-time occurring entries that are not automatically created every month, but rather just split into two with an initial date and a recognition date. So here we are on our database, and let's first head to the accounting app into the settings where we can configure our deferred revenue entries. So under the post deferred entries menu, we can change the journal in which the entries are posted. We can also change when entries are generated, whether that's on bill validation or manually. And we can change the amount computation. So we have based on days, which uh, is based on the exact number of days that month, whereas equal per month splits the amount evenly per month, regardless of the number of days. We're pretty happy with the current settings as is, so we'll just leave it. And let's create a bill now for our yearly Odoo subscription. So we'll add Odoo, go ahead and set today for the bill date, and we'll add the Odoo subscription. Next, what we want to do is unhide the start and end date fields through this little toggle menu. And then we can select today's date for the start date. And we'll go to next year to June 3rd for the end date. Now, once we confirm, we'll see that we have this deferred entries smart button that appears at the top. We can click on that and access the individual deferred entries and any additional info. And what if I want to do a one-time accrued entry? Well, in that case, let's say our customer paid for our gnome insurance, which covers any accident that could happen to our beautiful gnomes. So we'll create a new invoice for our friends at Acres Lawn Care, and we will add the garden gnome insurance. And for this, we can say that they paid for the entire year, but we want to recognize just half of it today and the other half in the next fiscal period. So we'll go ahead and just confirm this invoice. And then we can go into the journal items tab and we'll click on this cutoff button. So this button is only present if the account is either type expense or income and the other types do not allow this feature. So in this pop-up menu here, we have the recognition date, which is when the document will be issued. So we'll just go ahead and set this to next year. The accrued account is the account used for the accrued entry. So we'll set our accrued income. And then we have the adjusting amount. We want to set that to be just half since we're only recognizing half of the current fiscal period and the other half in the next fiscal period. So the original journal entry is going to place the full amount in the income account, but then the second journal entry immediately moves half of it to the accrued account and it holds it there until our recognition date when it's finally recognized as income and moved to the income account again. All right, one last question. Can I do multiple bills at once? Great question. And yeah, we can. So let's head to our journal item. 
And for multiple bills, we can just select the entries that we want to change, but we have to make sure to select the same type of account, either all income accounts or all expense accounts. So we'll select these two expense accounts, for example, and we can go into action and then change period. The process is the same as for the single entries. We select our date, the account, the journal, the amount, and we're all done. Now you know all you need to know about one shot accrued entries. That's all for this video. This has been your pal Dow. I'll see you in the next one.